So recently, Chris Brown, as probably people know, he's very popular for doing like really personal um, photos when they do meet and greets at his concerts. So recently he was doing a photo with some lady and then it comes out that she uh, her boyfriend actually broke up with her after he saw the photos because he didn't like that Chris Brown was touching up on her. Um, in that photo, so. and they kind of look like prom pictures, right? Like prom pictures and stuff. A lot of them well, are. Well, yeah. Chris Brown gets real comfortable with real. He gets real personal. Com- <laughs> he, he, he's squeezing them in tight, tight. And uh, you know, if I, if I'm somebody that a lot of women adore, Chris Brown, you might be a little jealous about that. But Chris Brown's not taking your girl, bro. He's like, well, he's got a line that he's getting a thou- a rack for each girl. I'm like, move past that, bro. To it's me, it's not a big deal. To me, he's all. I want to give my fans like what they paid for. Like they're paying a yeah, thousand. That- Right. That, that fantasy touch my right. cheeks. They're paying a thousand dollars. Let's give them what <laughs> I'm they just want. Saying at the end of the day, Missy's right. She's right. <laughs> touch my. Cheeks. So do you do you guys think that it was right that the boyfriend broke up with her? No, I think that he mm-hmm. should he should understand this is the business. Chris Brown's he's made this how he makes extra money from what he does and whatever. You know, charge it to the game, man. I know you guys are gonna think this is funny, but maybe I, I'm, I'm you may not think this is funny. But you guys probably know where I'm going with this. Okay. Usher, singing yes. to Kiki Palmer. So take your girl. I, immediately, I thought of that as well. I thought about that because it's sort of like with these artists, right? They, like like Junior alluded to, they're trying to actually have fun with their crowd. They're trying to... Because, I mean, these are people that have went through a pandemic where they haven't had a big audience in a couple of years. Sure. So now... People are outside again. They're starting to go to shows. We and outside. when <laughs> we outside. We outside so, right, so now they're trying to find a way. Let's get our let's interact with our crowd. Let's get our crowd into us again. You know, you got Chris Brown with the photos. You got Usher coming up into the audience singing to and serenaded ladies. To me, it's what's the big deal? Uh, it's really seriously, I agree. It's, what's the big deal? What's the big deal? You know, we passed it. I they're actually, not leaving with you. I actually have more respect that they are so personal with their fans because sometimes you hear of stories where, you know, the artists will see their fans and like just like look at them funny or just give a quick wave or be like, okay, bye. Like take just a quick photo. These guys are actually making memories with their fans and making sure that their dreams are coming true. I think that's really cool. Me too. I, I do have a point. So, like Carissa, when she was modeling, I, I, I don't know if she's gonna kill me about this or not, but I'll get, I, I'll get past Shout it. Out. I'll get past it. Well, she did stuff uh, in Chris Brown music videos, Ty Dolla Sign. I know there was one scene with Ty Dolla Sign. Um, you know, she, he, I guess there was some condoms, and she jumped in the pool with a bunch of condoms, like trying to claw after him or whatever. I gotta see these videos. I yeah, know yeah, how I, come I've never seen them before. Because she, she tried to keep it under wraps. But at the end of the Not day, anymore. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm watching popcorn. Like, yeah, that's that's bad right there. I, I love it. It's great. Like, I don't care. If she's taking pictures with Dr. Dre, uh, mm-hmm. other people. Like, it's cool. Like, very supportive. I'm going to watch a, it's all a, the Ty Dolla Sign videos when I get home. Deal. But if it was J- Jennifer Lopez and I was mm-hmm. squeezing up on her like that, I don't. That would be a problem. So you think it's more of the man than the woman where I guess I think there's going to be a problem. For him to have that type of insecurities about you taking a photo with a a known national celebrity. It's like, bro. Who does that with a lot of people. It's not just your girl. He does it with. Right. There's 50 other girls next, bro. It it is what it is. It's just like a, a, a Hallmark photo shoot. And that's it. Maybe it was just an excuse. The, he didn't get the number. Maybe it was an excuse. Maybe he already wanted to break up with that's her. And perfect. he's like, you that's know what? Perfect. This is exactly what I can use. Very true. That's perfect. Yeah, it's petty. Gives me a way out. I like so, that even better. Okay. So if if you guys, uh, I don't know. Is it worth it? Like, is it worth it to take the photo if you knew your your significant other was going to be upset? Is Would it you worth still it do to it? take the Would photo? It, it depends on the artist. Okay. If it's Michael Jackson, I'm taking a photo. Sure. If it is... Jennifer Lopez, I'm taking a photo. I think Beyonce photo. I think I'm gonna say it's worth Shanice, it. It's worth it it's because okay. it's gonna happen. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. If it's with Chris Brown or someone else, it's gonna happen. Like that person's gonna get jealous if it's this, the girl down the street. This is the first person to be publicly, you know. I'm going to break up with my significant other. I'm pretty sure other guys have been mad and broken up. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sure more yeah, than likely. Yeah, more. yeah, this one's just public, right? I, I mean, I, I'm see. I, I'll go back to. I don't think it's a big deal because, let's just say, and this is all you know, totally different. But let's just say there's a friend from the past that you know your significant other runs into. They're like, hey man, you know, they're talking. It's at an event. They're like, let's take pictures up close and personal, like they do in these. Well, well, 
well, see, you don't know how close they're going to get when these pictures happen because, like I said, you just ran into them like at an event. They're talking. It's your significant other. They just they just ran into that person. They're like, let's take pictures. You see them taking the picture, and then the person's all up on them. That's different. You know what That's I'm different. saying? That's different. Okay. That's different because they- Too touchy-feely? Because if it's somebody you actually know in real life and then you guys are doing super touchy feely like you're like peop- the pictures that are Chris Brown is doing different because okay. because something can actually happen between the two of you. Nothing's really going to happen mm. between a fan and Chris Brown Got or it. a fan and Usher, but something Karen really makes. could happen. So this is the photo. This is the photo right here. Zoom in on that. You can show her. Are, are, we, are, are we are we breaking up over this photo? Is this breakup time? Let me see. <laughs> is, it, is this breakup time? She look, she look real happy. She look, you know what? She like, you know, I mean, I you mean wanna, cheeks on top of her eyeball. You want to know why they really broke Dang. up? He probably never seen her that happy in his life. <laughs> he it, probably never seen her that happy in photos I, that they take together. I mean, his hand is kind of low. Look, it's she, a little low. She looked like she won $555 million. And mega millions. They look, they, that's they, smile. They, they look like they're in a relationship nah, right here. He's mad because she ain't never look at him hey, like that. Listen, <laughs> let me stop. Hey, hey this is going to be the thumbnail right here. Look, the, <laughs> the ex-boyfriend probably <laughs> listening right now. He come to get Francois to great. <laughs> nah, he, but he got, he's moving on. He got another girl. That's how he's straight. He got, I, I believe Missy. I, I think they, this is a way to get out because you don't break up with nothing like that, even though she did look happy. Yeah, she did. She did look happy. And you made you made a very good point. It probably could be a situation where let me just use an excuse to try to get out of this situation. I agree. No, I changed my answer. I think <laughs> <laughs> after I saw the For photo. What? After I saw the photo. Okay, so what? Wh- now, what? Now it's because I think that he's never seen her as happy as he she Ooh. was in the photo. He's all she ain't never look at me like that. So I think that's very, what it is. Very possible. I think that's what it is. Very possible. Uh, but you know, good for her. If, if somebody's going to break up with her over that, she don't need him. She don't need him at all. So no. you know you know what one of my she final no questions on this happy. topic is going to be? Kay. Is there a celebrity for you guys that could bring a smile out of you like that? I'm sure. If they ask you to take a photo. <laughs> and who is it? Don't be rude by the rocks that I got. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. Oh, Jen, Jennifer Lopez. Bro, I'm never you... going to stop, bro. And now that her and Ben are going through problems, <laughs> it's easier Stop to take it. a, it's, hold Stop on, let me it. finish. It's easier to take a photo. That's all I was going to say. Oh, okay. I'm happy in my situation. Oh, okay. I don't want nobody. Look, Luminary Community, if you see Junior Leto somewhere posted in a picture with J-Lo. <laughs> I'm going to be cheeked up. <laughs> Excited. How about Could you, it, Missy? It's, it's a, I'm, I'm pretty sure the girl was like a. She's a super fan, like yeah. one of the biggest artists. Of course, she's happy. She's smiling. Yeah. But you don't. You don't come home and be like, I mean, "What do you post that photo?" Everywhere. Other, in the hallway Everywhere. wall. Is it in the living room? Like, this is family. Me and Chris. Like, where, where does the photo actually go? Yeah, probably. This is true. I'd put it on the wall. I'd print it out and put it on the wall. <laughs> not with Chris Brown, but with like my, celebr- a, with, with with my celebrity president, crush. With the president of the United States, I put it on the wall. Uh, not, not a celebrity. Missy will have it on the nightstand, like when her boyfriend <laughs> her turn. <laughs> you see, Yo. Chris Brown. Uh, I would. And not Chris Brown, but my fav- my celebrity crush. So who's your celebrity crush? My my celebrity crush? Has crushes. Been- crushes. But my original celebrity crush How has many? never changed. Who? It's always been 50 Cent. 50 always, cent. Go. always, Go. yes. You find Go. him in a club. <laughs> so if he was like, if he was like wrapped up on me like it, like Chris Brown was in that photo, I'm sure I'd have like the biggest <laughs> smile I've, I've ever had in my life. I'm Look, pretty sure, and speak- I would. I'd ha- I'd have it printed at my work. I'd have it printed in my car. I'd have it printed in the living room. Like it'd be everywhere. It's so funny you that's, bring up 50 because 50 is right now in that same situation. He went and took a photo with. A lady that's in, in uh, um, she's a politician, and they've made news. Like people think they're together and everything <laughs> like that. I can't remember her name, but she had to address it on TMZ. The people love shout out 50, to TMZ. Bro. People and, love. And 50. he basically was like, he he made a joke because he was walking out to the car, and he's like, she she want she on me like that. I didn't know, you know, I didn't ask her for no date. So they TMZ took it and ran with it. So they're like, oh, so Fifty is not denying that mm, he would want a date with her. So. You know, shout out to 50 Cent. So, okay, so yours is 50. Yeah, 50 Cent. Yeah, I like that. 